Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In my hand right here, as you guys probably saw from the thumbnail, I have a new product and it's more oriented for like Jeep people that have the uh, tire hanging on the back of their vehicle. Um, actually over there, my, my neighbor's got not a Jeep, but he's got a tire hanging on the back of his. This is a tool bag that hangs on the back of a tire. Now, let me open it up and show you guys what it is. I had this company sent this over to me and asked if I could film a video on it. And what we're gonna be using it for is a tool bag. So we have a trip in store to Harbor Freight because I need some tools. Inside of the truck, if you didn't see, I have a whole video on everything I keep inside of the truck at all times when I'm traveling. But one thing that I don't have tools in is that trailer down there. I don't have any tools at all. And I really need some tools in that trailer for if we get into any sort of sticky situation or just at events in general to have some tools handy to use. So we're gonna be going to Harbor Freight to pick up all the tools for that, but let's open the bag first. All right guys, so here is the bag itself. And uh, first off, I gotta say this bag is actually really well made. <laughs> I was very impressed. This is actually a really strong bag, but you guys can tell here, it's a big pouch bag. Got a side pouch here, a pouch here, a pouch here, pouch here. These little like hook loop things here, you can put like screwdrivers and stuff in I guess, possibly if you'd like to do that on the outside of it or just clip stuff on it. But on the inside, we have two additional pockets here and then just a giant inner pocket that actually is Velcroed up. And then it has a cover, comes over the top and can strap down as well. Then on the back side, we have the straps that hook to the tire. So again, you hang this on the back of the tire on top, on the back of a vehicle like a Jeep. But you got a strap here, strap here, four straps strap around those straps are right there will strap around the tire itself like going through the rim and basically coming around the outside of the tire on all four points around the tire to basically strap this up to the back of your vehicle so that right there is the bag itself it's pretty dope this is actually like i said this is super high quality oh it's got a drawstring here at the top too so you can drawstring it up tighten down the top and then flip over the top and strap it in so yeah, that's the bag right here. And basically it's designed to be kind of that bag for when you go out uh, off-roading, you go out on the trails. It's not designed to hang on the back of your vehicle at all times, unless you really want to. Um, but obviously if it's hanging on the back of your vehicle at all times, if you're parked at a parking lot or whatnot, people can come up, possibly steal some of your tools out of it because there's, it's not lockable or anything. But what it's designed to do is basically be that trail bag. So it has all of your necessary off-roading equipment or even hiking equipment or when you basically leave to go out on some sort of adventure, you put all of your tools in it and then that way they're not clogging up space inside of the cab of your vehicle. So basically if I was going off-roading and I had a Jeep here, I could mount this bag up on the back of the tire. When I get back home, unbolt it, go put it back in my garage and let it sit there until the next time I need go go back to my day-to-day -day life and then when I want to go back out on the trails grab the bag again hook it back up and good to go um, that way basically day to day I don't have a bunch of tools laying in the back of my vehicle taking up space with that said though we need to go buy some tools because like I said this is going to live it's got a nice hook which will hook nicely into my trailer which is way back there my 12 by 6 enclosed trailer that we take out to events and we go on trips literally three four hours actually next weekend we're going all the way back up to ohio for a wedding which is uh where i'm originally from i'm from ohio so i have a friend from high school back there that's getting married and i'm heading back up there one to visit family and two to dj his wedding him and her both of them they're both high school friends they're high school sweethearts so really excited to head on back for that but uh this bag will come in very handy if we get into any sort of instance so without further ado go to harbor freight we at the harbor of the freight. I'm gonna go in, pick out a lot of tools. I also haven't been in here in a while, so I'm gonna spend a lot of money. So, see you guys when we get back. All right, well, I'm back, and uh, yeah, you always buy more than what you think, but I bought roughly $150 worth of tools from Harbor Freight to put into uh, kind of the bag. And I also bought some other stuff, like some shovels and some stuff that was just a good deal. That, you know, you walk into Harbor Freight and you have intentions of just buying a few things, you end up just buying a shitload. Never, never grab a cart when you go into Harbor Freight because you will buy a lot. But it's cheap. And if you're only going to use it in emergency situations or just occasionally, it's worth it. I always say, if you're going to Harbor Freight, you can buy very, like, mechanical things. Like a hammer, like screwdrivers, crescent wrenches, shovels. Stuff that doesn't have moving parts tend to work really well that come from Harbor Freight. Now, on the other hand, something like a socket wrench that's cranking and all that uh yeah i had one from harbor freight it, it it didn't last long so that's why we got a breaker bar but we'll go through the whole entire complete tool haul when we get back for everything that i'm going to put into my trailer all right we are at the back of the truck and this is the tool haul from harbor freight as well as some things that i had laying around the house 
that I didn't buy at Harbor Freight because I have extras here that I'm going to be putting inside of the bag that's going to go live in that trailer down there. Let's go for everything and I'll explain why I bought everything that I bought. But this is basically for emergency situations, things we might need in the trailer as well as inside of my DJ business itself. We do a lot of stuff DJ related that we might need some of this stuff for. So I'll explain it to you. So let's start with the Harbor Freight stuff over here and then we'll get to some of the other stuff that I have just laying around the house. So first up, obviously we need screwdrivers. So I have a complete set here. This is an eight piece set. Like I said before, as long as it doesn't have many moving parts, they're really like, they're great for just what they do. So this one has a uh, four Phillips, four uh, straight of different sizes. That'll be uh, great for any situation. Got a nice plier set here, five piece. We got our regular, our needle nose. We got some snips to cut things off like zip ties and wires. A little bit of a combo one there. And of course we need a pair of channel locks as well. Nice little one pound hammer, 16 ounce hammer or any little thing like that. Mallet as well. Those are kind of just necessary tools that you might need. Some other necessary tools over here. We have our three different sets of Allen keys. So we got metric and English Allen keys. I love these. We have these in all of our gig totes that we take to our events as well as star keys as well. Just essential tools there. Kind of skipping over this. We'll get back to that in a second, but a nice small little socket set. I did didn't need necessarily like a big 130 piece set like I carry in the truck because I bought all these spare tools and they're going in a bag. I don't need them in a tool kit. They're going to go in a nice bag, be nice and organized. But this is a nice little starter kit that has all the necessary sockets that I might need as well as a spark plug, a few crescent wrenches, some Allen keys. Of course, we have the Allen key set there. But this is just a nice little metric and English socket set to have. Just 53 piece, quarter inch and three eighths kit. Uh, good to go there. And going with the half inch tire iron, I have a half inch Deep socket, this is an impact, but it's the only like singles they sell at Harbor Freight. It's like three bucks, but 21 millimeter deep socket. And that is because that is the size of my uh, tires. This is the lug nut size on the tires on the trailer. The truck itself actually has 19 millimeters. So it's a different size. So made sure I got everything in here. I actually have this exact same tire iron with a 19 millimeter inside the truck in case I ever need to change a tire. Which actually, side story, that literally just happened to me. I had a, literally like a nail or something. It literally sliced the side of my back tire and I lost like all air pressure and had to replace it um, literally on the side of the road. And uh, because I had all the stuff necessary to change it, I was able to do it. This little side tip, I've, I've always said this before, but if you change out your rims and tires, you better make sure you have the correct tire iron to replace those rims and tires. Like my stock rims on here use 21 millimeter lugs. This one uses 19 millimeter lugs. So you need to make sure you have the correct size for your rims and tires in case you ever need to change a tire. And also make sure you buy the correct full size spare that matches the size of the tire that you have. I have a complete five full size tires. I do a five tire rotation. That's a whole nother story, but make sure you have the correct one for your lug size so that if you get in a pinch, you can do it. So now I have the one for the trailer as well. And obviously the truck has a jack in it if I need it and it works fine. We'll get to the tarps. That's more for DJ stuff, but uh, moving right along here, we have a set of knives. I love these utility knives, the ones that fold back into them. And they also have a really easy mechanism to change the blade. And this one has a small small set too so that's gonna be good uh you always need something to cut something with and going along with that pair of cheap scissors always good to have as well uh this is just a random tape measure head laying around here you can get one from harbor freight as well for a couple bucks but i just had some extra ones i didn't need anything big so just having a tape measure really handy to have now we kind of get into more of the dj stuff here so Back here, I have not one, not two, but four five foot by eight foot tarps. These are the heavy duty ones. And the reason for this is mostly related to DJ environments. In general, a lot of the weddings that I do are moving towards outdoor environments. I hate them. I, I love doing indoor weddings, but in the area that I'm at in North Carolina, we do a lot of outdoor events. Outdoor events bring the possibility of weather, especially in the springtime. And I always had one tarp in the truck in this spring season. We ran into three different occasions when I asked, I had to go tell my assistant to grab the tarp out of the truck and we threw it down over the table because it actually started to sprinkle. And, and like we have those situations. So 
Now, I should have done this long ago, I got four more tarps, which should be plenty to throw over our speakers, to throw over all of our gear, and any sort of like last minute, it's about the rain and ruin the whole thing situation so that we can just take care of that. We shouldn't be in those environments, but that is my precautionary method right there. Beside of here, these are actually pipe and drape clips. Uh, we use these to hang stuff with. Um, they're they're nice to have along because this is, some, this is something we forget way too often when we go to like trade shows and stuff. Um, so having some extra ones there. Along those lines, IEC cables. Pretty much everything we use in the DJ environment uses an IEC to plug into it. And I ran into a situation literally this weekend where we were using every single IEC that we had in our tote. And I would have been screwed if we needed one more. So, uh, bringing some extra IECs just in case. Uh, mic clip. These are self-explanatory to hold a mic. Got an extra surge protector. We normally don't have issues with power stuff, but having that is also nice as well. And then, this is kind of some intermediate stuff, but more tie-down straps, elastic tie-down straps. Great for a lot of different reasons. These are mostly going to be used in the trailer itself, though, to actually secure things. Zip ties, self-explanatory. You need zip ties. Zip ties are great for literally anything and everything. Then, this work light. I specifically bought this work light because it uses AA or, or yeah, AA batteries. It uses four of them. I have this exact same light, but it's a lithium ion rechargeable one, but I want this to live inside the trailer and we don't really have a convenient way to recharge things inside of the trailer. So I bought some cheap Harbor Freight batteries because for this light, it really doesn't matter. So this is pretty much an essential for lighting up anything we need in the night at an event. We're tearing down, they turn off all the lights, it's outside, etc. Great to have have. That's kind of the tool haul. So I'm gonna go ahead, open all this up, and we'll stuff it in our bag. So this might not necessarily be how you would use it if you mount it on the back of your car, especially if you're gonna be driving with it. But for me, I'm putting this in my trailer and I really like this strap system on the outside for organization. I mean, that's really cool. All my screwdrivers fit right here so I can grab them nice and easy. My hammer and mallet fit down in this bottom pocket. All of my pliers are in this pocket. On this side is kind of my cutting tools. So these are all clamped on here. My uh, light is down here on the bottom with the batteries for the light below it. A little side plug that actually comes with batteries in it. That's That was really surprising. Surprising. I think I'm gonna move the light though to this pocket just because it'll be easier to grab stuff out of this pocket And my tire iron is also in this pocket now on the inside I put the lesser used stuff So the tarps are in the back slot here. My tool kit is all the way in the bottom I have basically everything else kind of laying in here the surge power protector the extra IECs the tie down straps are on top The allen keys and all that are down there I'm actually probably gonna move the allen keys to the side pocket over here so that way they're visible But kind of the backup spare stuff is in the bottom with the exception of the tie down and the tie downs are on top so that way they're easy to grab out of here but yeah I like the bag cool stuff so I'm gonna move it around and we're gonna take it down to the trailer and mount it up yo so I don't know if this was intentional but you can 100% make this into a backpack I just kind of handy dandily did it you just basically take the bottom strap or the top strap put it together and you got yourself an arm strap and uh voila it's a backpack pretty lit especially if you need to go take the tools somewhere pretty cool in like my case i'm gonna put this in the trailer and if for any reason we have something go wrong where we need tools or whatnot and i really don't know what tools i need i can go grab this all out of the trailer put just strap it up real quick carry it to where i need it and then get my tools out and use it the mobile tool backpack anyways i gotta go get my trailer key and we'll go put this in the trailer and that'll be the end of this video. This was a very random video, but this company sent me this bag and I was like, I can make a video on this because I need tools in my trailer and we can talk about tools. We can go to Harbor Freight and buy a bunch of tools, all that fun stuff. Now it's actually kind of dark in here because the only light I have in here is this one and it needs power from the truck to run. A little uh, side uh, project we need to do eventually is to upfit this trailer with some interior lighting and some other stuff. But thankfully we have the handy dandy light here in case we need it. And also that's just gonna help in general Cause this thing's a magnet. This thing has a magnet on it, so I can so I can stick it up there at the back of the trailer when we load in at night and we have no lights out back. And that'll help a lot. But anyways, I'm trying to figure out where I wanted to put it. And the short answer is I need to put a hook in here for where I want to put it. Cause ideally where I want to put it is up on this back wall here, probably over in this corner. And I don't have a hook here to mount it to. So for the meantime, we're going to hook it on this hook right here. Actually, no, take the back. We're gonna hook it on the back hook back there because this one has stuff below it. And there you have it, people. I could open up the big door here, but uh, didn't feel like it. 
tool bag all mounted up. It's basically going to live inside the trailer with all those tools for basically any in case of emergency situation. I really do love these loops that you can put all your tools on them and hold all your screwdrivers and everything on there. That's so dope. Got all my basically everything is visual. I'm a big proponent of like tools being visible and being able to see all your tools. There's a big project coming in the garage through this channel where we're going to organize all my tools and probably use a French cleat system along one of the walls to organize it all so that they're all visual. Love that, but I don't got time for that yet. But this got everything we need for the trailer and uh, I love it. It's going to be really, really helpful, especially with the tarps, everything. Love, 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 love it. And we got this light. This light literally probably my favorite thing in the whole thing. So I'm going to put this back and I'll meet you guys outside the trailer. All right, everyone, that is going to conclude today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the new bag. If you're interested in the bag, it'll be linked in the description down below for you guys to check out for yourself, especially if you got a Jeep and you can hang that bag on the back of your vehicle. Highly look into it. It's pretty dope. But anyways, guys, like the video, comment down below, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.